Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix if you can't turn off the stolen device protection on your iPhone. So let's get started. So the very first thing you want to do is go into your setting on your iPhone, and then you're going to want to go to screen time right here. In the screen time section where there's a restriction, if you have one, you're going to see it. But if you don't have it on, you can skip this part. But basically in the content and privacy setting, there's a passcode and face ID one. You want to make sure this is allowed and not a don't allow, which will prevent or from turning it off. So we're gonna do that, or you can simply turn this off just to be safe. Now, once you have done that, the next thing is the important part here. In the settings here, what you're gonna do is go into your privacy and security settings. So once you go there, you can click on location services and then turn on location services, and then scroll down to system services, and then go down a little bit further and ensure for significant locations, this is turned on. And the reason why that is, when it comes to turning off stolen uh, device protection, it needs to know your significant location, basically where your home is, and if it doesn't recognize it, it doesn't allow you to turn it off, it grays it out. So you need to turn this on, and it'll take some time for the phone to recognize your location. So you're gonna go back here, and then you're gonna have to wait for the phone to recognize it, and then what you're gonna do is go into your settings, and go into face ID and passcode, and then, or touch ID and passcode if you have a one with the home button. And then right here where the stolen device protection is, right now it's great out because I have this one turned off, but you'll be able to start the timer. So you'll click on it and turn, click on turn off, and that will begin a timer for usually one hour. Now the other thing is to keep a track of your time. You can set a, maybe alarm or something, but a minute before it, Get your phone in your hand and wait for a notification to pop up that will say that your pretty much uh, stolen device protection is off or that timer is off it's ready to be able to turn off and you click on it it'll pop up to this and you quickly want to go ahead and turn it off and that's how you'll be able to turn it off now if you follow these steps and you still aren't able to do it the next thing you want to consider is updating the phone software and that's because there are some versions of iOS 17 we've seen where there was a bug where you simply couldn't turn it off. So if to, in order to do that, of course, go into your settings, go to general, software update, update your phone first. Now you don't have to update to let's say iOS 18. If you're on 17, you can still stay on 17. And if you want, you can update to iOS 18. Update your phone fully. And then once you update it, follow the same exact process that we did in the beginning of the video, ensuring that screen time Content and privacy is turned off, and then of course in the location services, make sure your location and privacy setting it's turned on, and then under system services, of course, significant location is turned on. And the last thing you also want to ensure is that you don't have any BPN setting on. That's going to be key as well. BPN messes with the location on your phone, which can also interfere with Apple not recognizing your location. So in your settings, go to a general and then where it says BPN device management, if you have a BPN, you'll know it, you'll be able to toggle it off during this duration of that process before you even maybe start to get that start delay timer that will start. So turn off BPN and go through this process. And I hope oh, this video will help you guys fix it. Now there is one last troubleshooting step that you're gonna do, which requires you to go ahead and factory reset your phone with iTunes or if you click on forget if you keep on typing in the wrong password eventually it'll get to the erase option which we demonstrate in another video I'll leave a link for that video if you want to check that out that'll take a little bit more time to do but if you already know how to do it you can go ahead and do it that's going to be another way to do it where you reset the device then it'll lock to your Apple ID you'll sign into your Apple ID and restore your phone from it and that will turn off your stolen devices as well. But for that one, you also have to make sure that you are, have the Apple ID for your phone. And those are gonna be the ways to fix that stolen uh, device protection setting on your iPhone. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button. Also, if you found any other ways to turn this off faster or better or found it for your solution, also comment that in the comment section for everyone to also get a solution. And I hope this video is helpful. We'll see you guys next time.